and action. I like to change every time as much as possible. I like to be on thin ice with my projects. I like to explore new territories. If I started repeating myself as an artist, I would feel old, <laughs> I think. We always knew, because there's been a very famous John Schlesinger version of Far From The Madden Crowd, that we needed to make it feel different. I think it's often a really great thing to have a foreign director come in and tell a sort of quintessentially British story. What was fascinating with Thomas was that he had no baggage. He'd neither read the novel nor had he seen the film. So he could create it in his mind, as it were, from scratch. Thomas would see things in the humdrum of what we think is a sort of humdrum British life and see the sort of lovely, beautiful, extraordinary things in it. And action. This was obviously a challenge. It's a completely new territory. It's another country, it's another language. I'm aware that this book and this film comes with a lot of expectation. I obviously asked the producers, what do you think I can contribute? What, what do you want me to do? And they asked me to try to bring the combination of grandness and believability that they thought they found in my other films. To find the fragility and the vulnerability in the characters and yet still try to get the grand landscapes and the grand drama into it. Perhaps you'd care to lend a hand. You don't think I would? No, you wouldn't. The whole thing about actors is where I come from. That's what I find fascinating, to, to build these characters. He loves his actors. He gives his actors a lot of freedom. He gives them a lot of energy. He's extraordinarily communicative and, and kind of and excited about people's ideas. The first thing that I was struck by with Thomas as a director was how much improvisation we did. It was wonderful to be able to have that. And I think that comes from a point of view that he has about making things very real and connected. It's such an amazing thing that having a director that so believes in each moment. An actor, it's a very vulnerable thing. You have to sort of undress your emotional life in front of a camera. And as a director, I, you have to be in there with them, doing that, taking that risk. It becomes very symbiotic and it becomes very close. He's so charming to everybody. And that just made for a really lovely set. It's always the attitude of the director that filters down and affects everybody else. And he just set the most amazing tone on set. He loves what he does. That's the most important thing. I'm not such a fool as to imagine I might stand a chance. One day I will leave you. You can be sure of that. It's being made by a filmmaker whose ambition is to connect to an audience. And he's a romantic. He sort of loved the idea of making a really epic romance. And I was sort of slightly more resistant to that at the beginning, and I really got swept up in it with him. Unashamedly, wanted to felt a stylish, but also immediate and believable in the sense of the characters and the acting, and that's what Thomas brings to all his films. I felt that there's a larger story to be told than the story about what I can do to Tom Hardy. This is not about me. This is about fate. It's about something bigger. It's about fantastic English literature, and it's about conveying one of the best stories ever told. And cut!